What's crazy is there's currently 4 million foreigners living in Thailand. But if you went around, you'd find that less than 1% actually speak Thai. Even though I have an IQ in the single digits, I'm going to show you five tips which help me learn Thai in 30 days. And make sure you stay watching to the end because I'm going to share why learning Thai is the secret to learning many of the world's languages. My first tip is get immersed in the country. Unlike many other places around the world, living and working in Thailand is one of the most affordable places in the entire world. So if you're looking to learn Thai and want to make progress, hop on a plane and come to Thailand. And once you get here, you'll realize you don't even need a visa when you're from most countries as they have excellent tourist visa program that allows you to stay up to 90 days problem free. My second rule is ban yourself from speaking English. When you come to Thailand or any foreign country, it's really easy to find comfort spending time with expats. However, speaking English is going to slow down your progress. Make sure you make Thai friends, go to Thai places, and even do small things like changing the language on your phone to Thai. In my case, I didn't want to speak English so much that I actually enrolled in a Thai school completely taught in Japanese. Now, you may not have the benefit of another language. To solve for this, ask your teacher not to speak English with you. Another thing I did in Thailand was whenever anyone came up to me and started speaking English, I used to say, and that would also get a laugh, but it was also a great way to invite people to speak Thai with me. My third tip, embrace subconscious audio learning. It refers to playing the language that you want to learn through your headphones all day on a low volume. I found the best way to do this was to go on to Thai Pod 101 and put on their three minute Thai lessons consistently. After a couple of weeks, I was saying things or even recognizing things without even remembering it. My fourth tip is don't worry about the tones. Embrace reading and writing the Thai script. Thai is like music. At first, it's very difficult to hear the subtleties in the language, but over time it comes easier and easier. In fact, the script makes it easier for you to pick up on these things. And I want to introduce an example. Here on the screen, we'll see three words. And for a second, try and pronounce each of them to yourself. What you'll find is that all of them written in English seem like the same thing. However, look at this here in Thai. This is the word for lui. And what you can see is these two symbols together, when combined, always make a sound that is lui. So if you learn the script and how these characters sound together, over time, you won't need to rely on the English. Learn the sound, learn the character, and then the tone will come over time. My fifth and final tip is to embrace digital learning on your mobile phone. My two favorite apps are Drips and Monly. I love the associative learning pattern of Drips, which allows you to combine Thai words with Thai sounds and pictures. But I found Drips was the best app in allowing you to opt out of using English on the app, which means that over time you start to learn how to read Thai and you suddenly don't know why. It just works. Monly is my favorite app for Thai grammar structures and you'll see that creating and matching sentences on this app is as close as I've found to natural conversation. So with all these points in mind, learning Thai is so beneficial. It will unlock the world of languages for you because other languages like Chinese and Vietnamese, which are reliant upon tones, will be unlocked as you master this language. Furthermore, you'll notice languages derived from Sanskrit like Arabic, Hindi and actually Lithuanian from Europe all share commonalities with Thai. So learning Thai can be an amazing way to bridge across all the languages of the world. Plus, you'll never pay full price at a Thai restaurant again. I also have to thank my dear friend, Thai Talk with Paddy, for all his help in motivating me to learn the Thai language. And I'd like to hear from you and your journey, so please reach out in the comments below.